be a pilot because you can get a lot of money with this and I want to open a cat sanctuary. In fact, everyone knows me as the cat. <laughs> the cat girl is a room. My life is just cats. <laughs> I started seeing cats and eventually I started feeding them as well, knowing that it was, you know, downhill all the way now. The biggest issue is food. Yes. Because... How many cats do you have here? We have nearly 200. I think she's more of a girl. Female cats have more of this sort of elegance to... The boys are much more rounder, no? Like, we call them babushu. His arm all infected, and he was flying from the walls, literally fly. I, I heard sounds. I went to open the door, and I see this cat going crazy. I went to close the door. As soon as he saw me, he looked at me like he wanted to literally attack me. Well, I believe, you know, I, I, I can't say I, I was a cat in, in another life, but I think I was. the island of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea, just south of Sicily. Malta, Camino and Gozo make up the Maltese islands, with mainland Malta being the largest of the trio. Malta has been ruled by many, including the Romans, Turkish, English, French, and of course the Knights of St. John. Tourists are attracted to the endless sunshine, turquoise sea, fortresses and the megalithic temples. It's easy to get swept up in the unique beauty of the island. I'm Sarah Jane, the director of Cats of Malta. As an Australian with Maltese heritage, moving to Malta during the summer of 2017 and living there for four years helped me to discover my roots. I've always felt a connection to Malta and the locals, but what surprised me was the unavoidable presence of stray cats. The human population in Malta is approximately 450,000, the stray feline population is close to 100,000. Curious as to why there were so many strays, who looks after them, and how cats influence Maltese culture, I decided to chat with locals and the cat community to ask these questions and many more. Nano would go on his belly and catch his own fish. He was independent. And wild. After the accident, he's begging now. Very intelligent. But what happened one night was when we had the restaurant going and there was a terrace full of people. There was, there was a car parked down by our stairs and there was Nano under the car, just relaxing. What happened was a person was walking with a small dog, but this tiny dog passed 
very close to Nanu from, you know, where he was lying under the car. Apparently, Nanu attacked the dog. So, you know, it jumped literally, and it was a bit of a chaotic situation. All my customers just were all over, you know, looking around what's, what's happening. And the man just didn't know what else to do. And the first thing that came to his head was to kick the cat. It, it, it all happens, you know, in, a, in seconds. And it's very difficult to, to understand while we were standing here working and what's happening down there. But all I know is that after all that happened, the cat was suffering. And so I decided to go down and we all decided to call for a pet ambulance. And when they did come, we asked whether Nanu would come back once he's healed. And they said that once a stray cat is taken, they won't bring the stray cat back. And since Nanu has been here for so many years, we decided not to give it to them and to take the responsibility personally and to help him to to bring him back.